Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the President of the United States, please welcome Shaniqua Mines. Yesterday, capital Y-E-S-T-E-R-D-A-Y, -E yesterday. This was the first word I was taught to spell by my late grandmother, who raised myself and two siblings in a rough, drug-infested, and violence-stricken neighborhood in North Philadelphia. At the time, my grandmother struggled with substance abuse, and while she and my grandfather struggled to, pro to provide an acceptable home for us in a small apartment, it was clear to me, even at age six, that the life I was living was a life set up for failure. My grandmother's substance abuse affected me in many ways, but one way in particular was it played a part in me beginning school a year late. Having a young mother and absent father, somehow school was pushed back for me, but it did not hold me back. As my grandmother made sure I've always been ahead of the game, teaching the basics before I even entered kindergarten. As a young girl, I thought about college but it wasn't until attending Kip Philadelphia when my principal visited my overcrowded home to tell me face to face that, I was going, that college was going to happen for me. <clears throat> then the Jack Kent Cook Foundation chose to fund my education and matched me with educational advisors who helped me to focus on my goals and interests. Making a list of colleges to apply to, filling out applications, and visiting colleges was extremely difficult to do full of anxiety and doubt. When I embarked on this journey, I had no idea where it would take me, yet all my worries subsided when I decided to dedicate four years to Goucher College. Being, the Goucher, being at Goucher College for four years is the longest I've ever been at one school. It has been one of the most rewarding times of my life as I have been able to make and keep friends, be involved in the community, both campus-wide and in the greater area of Baltimore, and study abroad in Australia for a semester. Today, I'm here to say, after all the tears, stress, and doubt, that college is worth it. It is an honor, it is an honor to not only tell you all that it is worth it, but to tell all the students who are the first in their family, like me, that it is worth it. I would like to proudly and genuinely thank, the, thank President Obama, along with you all, for making the commitment to students to get them to and through college successfully. Thank you for committing to making college more affordable for generations to come, for raising awareness about the needs for ca college counseling, and for encouraging colleges to support students all the way through graduation. Please help me in welcoming President Barack Obama. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Please, please have a seat. Thank you so much. First of all, can everybody please give Shaniqua a big round of applause for her great story? We are proud of what she has achieved and the spirit that she represents. Um, and when it comes to higher education, we spend a lot of time crunching numbers and statistics, uh, but Ultimately, what matters and what has so many of you here today, many of you who've made this your life work, is making sure that bright, motivated young people like Shaniqua uh, and all the students who are here have the chance to go as far as their talents and their work ethic and their dreams can take them. 